Minister, I could stay here for an hour with you. But I've been listening to the whole chamber, and the one thing you haven't brought up is infrastructure. You failed rural Ireland with infrastructure. I'll start in the area where I was elected first in the Derek Hill district, where a promise from governments, 30 years they're waiting for a storage plant in Eskeaton. No more houses can be built there because there's no infrastructure and no commitments, including your own government, have been fulfilled for storage plants. We will then go to Adair and we'll mention Irish water, a failed identity. Okay? Only for the persistence of my colleagues in the Derrick Hill district, they were going to resurface a road and put in footpaths in Adair without putting in a sore line down to the middle of the street because Irish water would not commit. They delayed the process by eight months and it was only the persistence of the Derrick Hill councillors that eventually the sore line was laid and now the, the reconstruction of the road has been done. But tunnel vision, no forward thinking. You've mentioned today about building 800 houses here and 300 houses there. But yes, you have no infrastructure in Limerick. Ula are waiting for a sewerage system. But yes, they will accept planning permissions within the County Council and they will fail them because of no infrastructure. People can't come home. Conservation in all our towns and villages. You have more voids. You have more buildings that are, are in County Limerick that could be re, re people with a bit of common sense. But no, it's all legislation, regulation that's stopping this. If you want to build a house inside a town or a city, if you're a building contractor, which I am myself, 17000 is the price of a site to a contractor to, to make profits out of it. But if you're in rural Ireland, you buy a site minimum cost, 50,000. You put in a storage system, 15,000. You get a planner, uh, planning permission from an engineer, architect, 3,000. Connecting, connection, that's only for the plans. That's not to build a house. That's just for planning. You then go to get Irish water on board, they could charge another 3,000. You then pay your county council fees in rural Ireland, which could be 5,000. And if you look at the list of them, libraries, footpaths. In rural Ireland, there's nothing there. Because why? You've forgotten it. You've put no money, you've kept no commitments for rural Ireland, no infrastructure. I can go town by town and keep you here all night, find out where the failures of your government and governments before you to fail on infrastructure in rural Ireland. You can't build the houses in the cities because you're putting all your, oh, sorry, you can build houses seas because you're putting money in for infrastructure. There's raw storage going into the seas because of lack of infrastructure. You've forgotten rural Ireland. You need to invest in rural Ireland. You need to lessen the conservation laws, keep front facades, keep the roof structure, and then rebuild our streets. I know it can be done because I'm a contractor. I do it every single day. And the people that are employed by me do it every single day. Ye penalise people in rural Ireland because they want to work there, but ye have no connectivity from, from internet, nothing. And they were the very people that kept us going with the food chain when this pandemic hit. Ye want to think about infrastructure, get people out into our areas, let them build at home. And the 2040 plan, you have to have a missions report. If I'm living in Kimalak and if I'm working in Shannon, I will lose by planning permission because emissions, you have to have an emissions impact study done. That's what the 2040 plan is done. So you'd want to think about rural Ireland and constructive and let people come home to their own families that want to be there and invest in it. Thank you, Minister. The, two two quick Debbie comments. Has, no, two, we don't have time well, 10 seconds. Two quick comments. There's 116 billion of taxpayers' money committed to infrastructure for this country for the next number of years. And Limerick is a major beneficiary from the national uh, planning county. framework and national development plan. Limerick town, county and city. County. And I think you should read it in detail because you're quoting maybe one line out of it. It's a major benefit. If Limerick follows that plan, Limerick will be a great county to live in and Thank for you, the future, Mr. for many generations to Debbie come. Catherine Look at the plan.